So we have reviewed the sonar report for the project. Let's go ahead and close the section with closing down the release and the merge to master and develop. So let's head over to the terminal and let's make sure we are on the release branch. Gonna head over to the source tree and let's go ahead and go to the git flow and say finish the release. And let's add some comments here. And I I can select the option for deleting the branch and pushing the changes to remote. So let's go ahead and do that. So it has merged it into develop as well. If you notice that, I need to go ahead and do the push from develop and master. And let's go ahead and push those. So if we head over to our branch here, we should have the master updated from the solar integration into double. So now that we have closed the release, we have looked at integrating sonar into our development lifecycle. Using Jenkins, you can build a pipeline where you can split the different stages of the CI CD pipeline into multiple stages and visualize it in a dependency matrix perspective. And we can take a look at that in a future bonus section. With that, we have looked at integrating Sonar Cube the code quality metrics into our SDLC lifecycle. I hope this lesson has given you an overview of how code quality can be controlled within your organization.